at the minute our lesbian TV fix <laughs> is Gentleman Jack. Gentleman Jack. Gentleman. Je- Gentleman <laughs> Jack. I'm Jess. I'm Sophie. And together we are. <laughs> we live in Margate. Cute little seaside town. I've been here about 18 months with my dogs. I moved here in February. I came down for Pride last August and got absolutely obsessed with it. Then we matched on her. I'm from Manchester, specifically Bury, home of the Black Pudding. And I lived in like a village south of Leicestershire, which is like a population of like a thousand people or something. And none of them were gay. There were actually two lesbians, two. They were together, obviously. And then... <laughs> I think I was really lucky actually growing up in Manchester. Yeah. Literally walk up and down Canal Street thinking I was like in queer as folk. <laughs> I spent so long grappling with my sexuality and I was engaged to a guy for about five years. If my boyfriend was out, I'd just go and like sit on the sofa, put my pajamas on and I'd be like, oh, it's my time. <laughs> <laughs> and I would literally just put the L word on and watch all of it religiously, every single episode. There's Jenny and she's dating a guy and she moves in with him. I think I felt quite a big connection with Jenny only because I just related to her so much in that first series where she starts to like dabble in queer culture and she just kind of found this little group that accepted her for who she was. And I was like, that's what I need to do. It really helped to just normalize my feelings, show me that the life that I wanted for myself could still exist if I was gay. So do you think I'm more like Beth than Jenny? You're not like Jenny. I just thought like... Cause she You're was... quite Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I would religiously watch Bad Girls. That was like the ultimate, like top dog. And I also kind of like Sylvia as well, that weird little nana policewoman. In what? Bad Girls? Yeah. And Shell Dockley, obviously. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being banged up with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we watched Orange is the New Black. I mean... That was really good. rammed full of lesbians. Yeah. (laughs) Also, I loved Sugar Rush. They were more, not my age, because I was still quite young, but it felt more like I could relate to it because they were teenagers. Mm. And I was like, I could run away to Brighton. Maybe that's why I've ended up in Margate, Mm. trying to live my own Sugar Rush seaside dreams. Coronation Street, Uh, Sophie Webster, gay icon. (laughs) <laughs> no, that was, I think that was because my family have always watched Coronation Street. It's something that I even watch now. Like, I, you hate it. I've but I, I find, I know this is going to sound really weird, but I think Coronation Street grounds me. <laughs> we loved special. special. We really loved special. So pure. We devoured that. It wasn't just about him being gay. That wasn't the main, no. like, crux of the show, which I think is quite rare. Like, it was mm. just about him as a character. It was quite a brave and, show, really, because it was, yeah. I mean, it showed disability and he, he never let it hold him back. It was really nice and really well represented. I that think that's really one good. of the best shows that I've watched Yeah. recently. Mm. It's really reassuring to see queer characters living normally. That's what I think we need more of because the representation is mainly of sex. Like Blue is the Warmest Colour, for instance. Yeah. I loved that film, but... The only thing people were talking about in it was the sex. That's what it always focuses on in TV and film and everything, apart from the L word and things like that. But that still was super over-sexualised, I thought, in some parts. That's why we loved it, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Kind of a bit obsessed with Claire Balding, probably (laughs) the most famous lesbian TV presenter. For Jess's 30th birthday, we had a huge party. I turned up with a life-size cardboard cutout of Claire Balding. Someone else turned up with loads of Claire Balding masks. We didn't really know what to do with them, so we put them in the spare bedroom. In the window, like facing outwards. And the neighbour came round and said, can you take cut out of Princess Diana out of your window? (laughs) So, were you freaking my wife out? We were like, what? Oh, Claire. Oh, Claire, yeah. (laughs) TV, film can have such a bigger impact on gay people. Everything's made for heterosexual couples. It's so inbred in our culture that when you're gay, you have to kind of reach something else. So I think when you sit on TV, it is much more powerful for gay people. It just gives you a sense of belonging. 